Hello everyone, welcome back to Cold Steel 3. I said today I would go for like three hours, so I'm gonna do that. Um, <clears throat> won't be able to talk for a bit because it'll be a lot of cutscene, I assume, which is why it asked me to save in the middle of a chapter so that we could resume. Uh, so we'll get right into that. Yeah. I'm gonna move this chair forward so that it's not like constantly in the background. Oh, because we had done the soul dot training. That makes sense. I forgot. <laughs> now all the train cars are being taken up by Panzer Soldats and Valimar. Gotta be sad for Valimar that he can't, like, hang out with the Panzer Soldats. That was a bizarre camera movement. It looked like it was in first person of someone hiding behind that door. I'll cut to the chase this time. This is our third set of field exercises now, and the classes have been rearranged. We now have more advanced Panzer Soldats and plenty of firepower. But the main campus will go even beyond that. Incidentally, they'll be having their first field exercises today. In our newly acquired province of North Ambria, it seems they'll be flying there on crimson wings, the Courageous. The, the Courageous? The Imperial family's high-speed cruiser Prince Oliver oversaw? Captained by the Radiant Blademaster himself? Though my wings have been stolen and my blade lost, I yet have the gun and the rose kept safely in my heart. Interesting. So that's what he meant when he said his wings had been stolen in Northambria. Green. We began as mere outcasts, but now the world is beginning to take notice of us. So now is when the true battle begins. Now is where we show our determination. The nobles are reeling. We have field exercises at their largest bastion in Erebonia. I eagerly await the results of your greatest battle yet. Find struggle and grow. Yes, ma'am. Please be careful. Give him hell, everyone. Yes! So what are the odds? The Phantasmal Blade plan? The third subject for retrieval? I'd say about 50-50, but I feel like this time an interesting individual may make an appearance. In the world of martial arts, there are only a few who pique my interest. My master, Victor S. R. Said, the Radiant Blade Master. My fellow disciples of the Vander School. And... Ooh. Who's the third? Rakshasa, the Demon of Carnage. What a fitting name. That will be ba the basic schedule for our field exercises in Ordis. As usual, Class 7 will have their briefing early in the morning. Any questions so far? Class 8's all set. Class 9 as well. Reen? Instructor Schwarzer, any questions? Sorry, no questions from Class 7 either. So the main campus is headed to North Ambria, huh? That's where that Northern War Reen was a part of happened, yeah? 
Yes, and on top of that, the main campus is headed there in the Courageous. I think Green's feelings about the whole thing are a little complicated. Uh, Schwarzer, listen. We are headed to the La Mer province. The main campus field exercises have nothing to do with us. Is that clear? Yeah. Sorry, I'll put those thoughts aside for now. Very well. We've received information that over 10 Jaeger Corps have infiltrated the Empire's mainland. We still have no information on the goal or employers for a majority of these Corps, including among them the Red Constellation, currently working with the Society and Zephyr. Those two are special for sure, but they're not the only ones we'll need to look out for. After what happened in Crossbell, we can't afford to let our guards down here. The Le Maire province is very big, so it should be especially important to cooperate with the locals this time. That's correct. As before, Class 7's task will be key to accomplishing that. We need you to be able to act, no matter the circumstance or situation. Understood. We'll make sure we're all prepared, We've, we're all prepared, our new members included. It'll be a long trip to Le Maire. I'll make my rounds and then head to bed. Since this will be Musei and Ash's first time with us for special ops missions, I should make sure I talk with them. I think I'll talk with Toa and Major Michael too while I'm at it. Like the Major said, I need to focus on what's going on here. Hang on, let me, I have to copy something. There it is. I have been getting a lot of, like, wild bots in my Twitch chat, and I just... It's really annoying, because I don't know where they came from. Me, Gustav, and Stark are going to be in charge of driving the Darflinger from now on. My turns fade 12 a.m. until 3 a.m. Fair's fair, considering we did rock, paper, and scissors, but still, trust me to get stuck with the worst shift. I mean, how am I even meant to take to nap until midnight? I'm way too excited. I know what you're saying, but make sure you get plenty of rest. I feel bad for Pablo, but it's my train for now. I've got to live it up before we switch. You really are kind of a gearhead, huh? Alrighty, I think I'm all set. All I need to do now is... Working hard and working late, I see. Getting ready for tomorrow, Tatiana? Yes, that and some other miscellaneous things. My workload for the comms team has gotten a bit heavier now that musei has gone. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, don't be. If anything, we've been relying on her a little too much lately. This is a good opportunity to get some experience. I'm glad to hear that. You're very dependable. That being said, try not to overexert yourself. E yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, so Misa, yeah, she's not even in here. She just gets to chill now. Good for her. Take good care of Ash. Don't worry, we'll keep him in line. But shouldn't you be saying that to Instructor Rain? Oh, speak of the devil. Are you guys talking about Ash? Yeah, I mentioned it before, but he can be a real handful at times. To be honest, I'm a little worried. But Uni and I have put our worries behind us now. We're both fully committed to helping everyone at the branch campus. We've got your backs. Glad to hear it. It's really reassuring. I had to think over a lot of the things during our last field exercises, but I'm glad you're here to guide me and the others, Instructor Rain. Of course. Glad to have you with us, Yuna. I caused a lot of trouble for everyone back in Crossbell. I have to make up for it this time around. Thanks for sticking things out with us again, Instructor Rain. Yeah, we can take a shower, get some of that CP back. We don't even have a hundred. Oh, this is nice. Oh no. The thumbstick is starting to rip on this controller. I don't like that. The third time is going so much better already. You're right. We did everything we could to prepare ahead of time, too. I feel bad that Tita has to take care of the whole kitchen by herself. Well, you're the one who's already been working when everyone else is on break. Let's just rely on Tita for now. And let's not think about Freddy. Freddy works hard in his own way. I'd like to help, too, but Yuna told me not to. Huh? Why'd she say that? Don't you like cooking, Luis? Well, it's not a matter of whether she likes it or not. It's that without constant supervision, she mixes up salt and sugar. But they're both white! 
I can't just taste them to find out every time I need to use some. I don't get how everyone else tells them apart so easily. You see? <laughs> yes, I see. I never thought that Luis made anything strange in cooking class, but it must be because Jessica was backing her up. But sugar and salt are used in all kinds of cooking. Making one mistake shouldn't affect the outcome too much, right? I don't know about that. With the Imperial Provincial Council happening, we won't be able to let our guards down this time. That being said, we shouldn't be too tense either. I'm gonna relax till it's time for lights out. We get to go to Raquel and be in Ortis for the Summer Festival. I'm so psyched. Our next field exercises are gonna be way more fun than the others. I'm looking forward to being able to see the ocean too. I feel like a broken record saying this again, but we're not going there to have fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know, you big killjoy, but still. We always go through hell on our field exercises. I know we can't go all out or anything, but we've still got free time on the last day. Well, I understand how you feel, but... True, we can't lose sight of what we're there to do. Ugh, I'm surrounded by killjoys! Hold up, I just noticed. Is every guy at this school but me super hot? What? I don't think I'd call myself hot. Come on, man, the girls all love the cute baby face like yours. Damn it. Must be easy for you guys. It's not fair. It looks like things are livening up in here. Sydney was just talking nonsense as usual. In any case, instructor, your Panzer Soldat battle with the principal is quite a sight to behold. Compared to you, we're still... No, it is I who is yet unskilled. Hmm, well, for what it's worth, I think you did pretty well for where you're at now. Can you really be so sure about that? After all, Mueller was eons ahead of where I stand now back when he was my age. And what makes you say that? Well, my brother and the principal are both 32 years of age. Moreover, they're both graduates of Thor's main campus, so it stands to reason that my brother would be oft compared to her throughout the years. Oh yeah, I remember Principal Le Guin mentioning this before, but didn't he enroll the year she graduated? Yes, I'm surprised you know that. It doesn't matter either way, though. What's important is that from the start, my brother had always accepted the simple fact that her swordsmanship was better than his. As a Vander's son, it wouldn't be strange for him to struggle with someone his age, much less a girl being stronger than him. At least for me, it would be. Hmm. But my brother wasn't like that. He accepted her superiority and focused his efforts on perfecting his own sword. Compared to him, I'm the one who is yet weak. I've come to terms with that. I see. Well, self-awareness is the first step. It's a sign that you're trying to move forward. I can only hope that's the case. Either way, I'll need to brace myself for what lies ahead. Thank you for listening to my petty troubles, Instructor Reen. Yes, of course. Damn, why do all the guys at the school have to be so hot? Oh, idios, please make girls look at me too. Sydney's just the same as always. Exchanges like this are almost a tradition at this point. A cute baby face? That bothers me a little bit. <laughs> Instructor Ian, would you like some hot cocoa? You're not in the workshop today, huh? I wanted to help in the kitchen for a change, but if you need me in the workshop, please let me know. I don't have to go far, after all. Sounds good, thanks. Our next field exercises will be held in the only province that borders the ocean, Lamar. Sorry, Lemaire. It kind of reminds me of the city Rouen and Liberal. Rouen and Liberal, huh? I've never been there before, but if I remember correctly, it has a huge drawbridge, right? Yes, the Langlin Bridge. From what I heard, Olivier liked to play his lute under it. it. I wasn't there, so I don't know the details, but I wish I'd gotten to see it. Hmm, I can picture it in my head. Even in Liberal, he was the same as usual. Hot cocoa, hmm? Good choice, Tita, good choice. But why not try out some of my freshly brewed frass tea instead? Frass tea? I've heard of that before. They drink it in some parts of the East, right? But if I remember correctly, over there they also call it insect dropping tea, which can only mean... I'm impressed, Instructor Schwarzer. You're very well versed in Eastern culture. <laughs> the owner of Neo Suian taught me how to make it just the other day. The flavors are just divine. Hmm, I understand where you're coming from, but if you're going to recommend this to people, you might not want to tell them how you made it. Ooh. Being in Ortis again reminds me of the time I spent during mi doing missions for Duke Cayenne. I really, I didn't really understand it back then, but I remember when I was following his orders, my body felt heavy and slow to act. Do you mean you were reluctant to follow your orders? I think that's the most logical interpretation. Thinking back, it's rare to find someone as self-absorbed, narcissistic, and opportunistic as him. He only saw me as another one of his tools. 
Hmm? Oh, apparently thinking about him causes me to feel anger, but it's not something you need to worry about, Instructor. Now, he's just someone in my past. There's no need for me to dig up any more unpleasant memories about him. Yeah, that's exactly right. Anyway, how about we play a game of Vantage Masters to take your mind off things? I didn't realize you played too. Yes, Yuna forced me to try a little bit ago. I was reluctant at first, but to be honest, I really enjoy it now. I'm glad to hear you gave it a shot. I'd be happy to play it with you if you'd like. Okay, thank you. We can now play Altina. Oops, I didn't mean to make a new save, but now we have three. Uh, challenge. A game of Vantage Masters? All right! Um... I never play these. So, I'm gonna... Play this guy. Game start. You can go first, instructor. Okay, well, I can't move. Well, uh, good start, good start. Interesting, that's a lot of health. But I can kill it in one shot. Interesting. <laughs> This feels wrong. Like, it feels like we're gonna beat her so quick. The AI can't be that bad. I mean, we don't need to use their health on that, because I'll be able to body her now. I think I win no matter what. Because I can use my penguin nasal. Yeah. And she moved forward. She wants to die? Okay, she could have at least tried a little bit there. That's sad. What was this match? Hmm, I lost. I guess the knight is just too OP. Vanish. Tina's bonding increased to four. Do we already have that? Offensive magic that cuts through enemies like a deadly blade contains the essence of a savage nation. user. Deals six damage to the target. If your master is the paladin, deal seven? Ooh. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. I thought we had had... I thought there was somewhere I was, like, looking at how many cards we had. It was, like, letting me know the completion rates or something. I guess... Not. Guess not. Ear itches. 
Man, me saying Ash will never get them all the way up. Kurt and Altina, though. Fee, Laura, Elisa. Mm, missing some fish. Probably won't get that trophy. Yeah, I have, like, no trophies in this game. I have, like, six bronze trophies or some shit. So the main campus is going to North Ambria for their field exercises, huh? Valerie, she must have a lot on her mind. The main campus is hosting their exercises in her homeland, after all. Oh, Instructor Schwarzer, good evening. Hi, sorry to eavesdrop. Listen, I'm in no position to comfort you over this, but no, it's fine. And rolling into the academy has taught me quite a few things about myself. So don't worry on my behalf, okay? Okay, got it. I'd like to sit down and talk things over with Valerie, but I guess now's not really the time. Hey, Leo, you're from Lemaire, right? Yes, technically. You're from Lemaire too, right, Maya? Yeah, but I grew up in the more inland parts. Are you planning to ask for leave to visit anyone? Yeah, there's this little tavern in Ordis the fleet used to go to together. I'm planning to stop by when I get the chance. If you're from inland, I suppose your hometown's a ways away from the camp? Yeah, it's not somewhere I could get easily. And even if I could, the only one at home is my drunk mess of a dad. Hmm, that's rough. But at least you've still got some family left, you know? Even if you can't stop by, why not let him know you'll be nearby? I guess. Contacting my father? I just hope he's at home behaving himself. I hope our boss is doing well. Knowing her, she probably hasn't changed a bit. Uh, okay, if I could just get a little lower. Wayne, what's going on? That voice, Instructor Reen, I dropped a 10 mirror coin under the vending machine. Really? Well, I mean, coins do roll when dropped. I can feel it on my fingertips. I just need to slowly... Crap, did I push it further in with my fingers? Uh, should I bring you a stick or something? No, I'm fine. I'm almost there. Anyway, I made a mistake of underestimating the shaking of a train in motion. Please just leave me be. All right, just don't hit your head on anything. Um, can I get 200 CP this way? Oh, this is nice. Oh my god, I can. I would assume they wouldn't let you do that. This will be the third set of field exercises. I don't feel any disturbances in the septium veins, but be careful nonetheless. Yeah, with the council still going on, we can't let our guards down. Understood. I will be on guard as well. You, however, should be resting right now. Yeah, I think I'll get on that. Huh. Branch campus colors. Not bad, not bad. It's actually pretty classy. I like it. Hope I get the chance to give it a spin in an actual fight. Training exercises just aren't the same. Well, it's our job as special operations to prevent any actual combat from breaking out. Judging by the size of our field exercise grounds, we may end up visiting your hometown Raquel, too. But I saw in the documents that you're... Yeah, I'm alone. Been that way since my mother died six years ago. But let's set the record straight. I wasn't born in Raquel. I see. You don't gotta sympathize with me just because we're both orphans. Besides, you got adopted by a baron, and I was raised by a single mom working the night shift. There's no comparing our upbringings. I'm not so inconsiderate as to say something like that. I was just thinking I can tell what a good person your mother must have been. Huh? You've got a good head on your shoulders and a strong will. I can only imagine that was your mother's influence. Huh, don't know if I'd go that far. Well, thanks to my mom's job, I know all about the nightlife in Raquel. Let me know if you need any recommendations. I think it'll be an eye-opening experience for everyone, yeah? I get what you're saying, but don't forget you're still a minor. Though I might consider doing something after we're done with the field exercises. Huh. Well, aren't you a stingy one? Raquel After Dark is no place for goody two-shoes like you. Well, I admit I do feel a bit out of sorts here. It kind of reminds me of when Major Lecter took me to Crossbell's Entertainment District. Huh? He did what? <laughs> well, I'm not surprised he went there, but I didn't expect you to go with him. Well, he sort of dragged me along without much choice.
All right, that should do it. Toa, are you doing maintenance on your weapon? Oh yeah, I am. I haven't used it lately, but I do train with it on occasion. I should always try to be ready for any situation. <clears throat> True, but man, talk about nostalgic. His Highness gave that to you during the Civil War. It's ZCF made, right? Yeah, I hear Misei's rifle is the same. Orbal staves just are just as compatible, so not many people use them. I wonder if I can use one like hers. It doesn't look too heavy. I think it might be a good fit for you. In Sutherland, your defense and command was remarkable. You think so? It was nowhere close to being perfect, but it does bring back memories. I was still just a student when I ran the Crimson Wings. Oh yeah, I heard Patrick was working in Ordis. Eusis is going to be at the Provincial Council too, right? Yep, his butler confirmed as much when I called two days ago. Since Juicebox is so busy with the preparations, his butler is just acting as a messenger. I think we'll be able to meet with him during the field exercises. I see, that would be fun. Yeah, we may not have enough time to properly celebrate, though. That just leaves Gaius. I wonder what he's doing. I never imagined the Crimson Wings would be a part of the main campus's field exercises. This complicates things, given the whole reason the branch campus was established. I can't imagine what Prince Oliver would think about what Thor's has become. I'm sorry, I never should have brought it up. No matter what's going on at the main campus, we need to focus on what's going on here. That's right, I'm sure we've got our fair share of obstacles ahead. Good luck tomorrow, Toa. You too, Reed. Does the thought of visiting your hometown again bring back memories? A few, yes. However, I lived in Heimdall since I started elementary school at St. Astria. I only come back to Ortis about once a year, so I don't have a lot of attachment to it or anything. That's so. At least didn't start going there till middle school. I'm told you started living with your grandparents after your mother and father passed away, is that right? That's right. They're both retired now, so they live in a small mansion in the city. It's a lovely area, and the sea breeze there is so relaxing. I felt the same way when I dropped by Ortis last year. If we have some time for a tour of the city, we should stop by my house. Oh, and my bed in my room is extra soft. Perfect for a private lesson or two. If the Count hears you talking like that, I'm sure he'll kick me out on the spot. I don't mind your little jokes, but try not to give your family the wrong idea. No. The, that letter you sent? What did you write? Oh, don't worry. I didn't write anything strange. I just added a little flavor to my descriptions. This girl's gonna get me fired. Speaking of which, we're just in time for the start of Ortis' summer festival. Alone on the wharf, just the two of us, surrounded by the countless bonfires dotting the bay. Ah... I think it's just one more, right? My kale. Yeah. I didn't expect her to show up now of all times. What is she thinking? Major? Oh, it's you. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, sorry. Something wrong? No, it's an RMP matter. It won't affect field exercises, so there's no need for you to be concerned. Understood. Sorry if I overstepped my boundaries. Out of curiosity, how heavily will the RMP be involved in this conference? Simple security detail, nothing more than we're expected to do. Keeping the nobles arriving by train safe, ensuring the stations and tracks are protected. Keep in mind, we're in the home territory of the Unified Region's army, an army made up of the elites from the Noble Alliance. There's no need for us to overstep our bounds here, I see. I understand what you're getting at. However, the nobles still have a great deal of power in Lamar, Lamar, in the port areas. Due to that, it's difficult to not for not only the RMP, but the Imperial Army itself to intervene. Even if the Society and multiple Jaeger Corps are present. I see. So that's why the branch campus is here. Correct. We also have a great variety of Panzer Soldats. It's troubling that the principal isn't here at a time like this, though skilled. The Provincial Army's new commander is from another province, and considering the personality of a certain Marquis? No, no. Even if the principal were here, I'm sure it would give rise to some other issue. He certainly is a warrior. It hurts a little watching him twist himself up into knots like that. 
There are no RMP related issues you need to worry about. Just focus on getting ready for the field exercises tomorrow. This is Dareflinger Car 1 calling all branch campus students. We are scheduled to arrive at the field exercise grounds at 5.40 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please make sure you go to bed early and get ready for tomorrow. Yikes. Tatiana was in charge of the announcement this time. She did well. I'll make my rounds and then head back to the room for the night. No, wouldn't it be this one? Yeah. Still got some time. Blah, blah, blah. Rest in your room. Oh, rain. Are you going to bed soon? Yeah, that's the plan. How about you? Yep, I managed to get all my work done for tomorrow earlier than usual. We've all gotten so used to the swing of things by now. Yes, it's night and day compared to back when we first started. Everyone's growing so quickly. I need to make sure they don't leave me in the dust. Yeah, let's keep working hard and growing together. Hopefully, I'll grow a bit taller too. But I am already in my 20s. No, I just need to drink lots of milk and... Oh. Well, I think you're fine just the way you are. If you ask me, your charm is that you work so hard despite how small you are. Oh, s still, I'm not going to give up. Good night. Be sure to get to bed soon, okay? Maybe I said too much. It's the truth, though. Anyway, guess it's time to hit the hay. Languedoc Canyon, the valley region in the middle of western La Mer. Huh, we here already? Ugh. Have you ever been to the west half of Erebonia? Yeah, during my Jaeger days for work and some other stuff. Oh, I can see it from here. It's quite the sight. <laughs> you wake up early for a pretty boy. I train in the mornings, so this is normal for me. The Canyon City Raquel. It's a key hub connecting to Jirai, if I recall. You mean the Entertainment City Raquel. That light you see out there is fueled by Mira, passion, and desire. But I guess I don't hate it. Hmm. The light of sinful pleasure engulfed by the coming dawn. <laughs> How elegant. I can't read her intentions at all. Just like with Ash, if she becomes an issue for Instructor Reen and the others. Wait, not just Instructor Reen? Why am I concerned about Yuna and Kurt Oh too? yeah, the feelings! Uh, what? Uh, are we there already? We're still two stops away. It's currently 0455. You should go back to sleep. Okay, got it. Well, in that case, you be my pillow, Allie. <laughs> what the I fuck? Yuna, I can't breathe. Mm, I guess. Ooh. Estelle, Joshua, and Ren. Yeah, it is weird, because definitely both Musei and Ash have weird shit going on. So I wonder if it's like, 
when Millium and Crow were added to the original Class 7 and Crow ended up being, like, the super bad guy. And while Millium worked for the government, she was there for, like, ulterior motive reasons. So, it's really weird. And, like, Ash is, like, kind of similar to how Crow was and stuff, so... Wow, so that's the ocean. It's so beautiful. Oh man, look how sparkly it is. Hey, if you're awake, then get ready to disembark. We'll arrive at camp in 10 minutes. The second we get there, we'll start we'll start settling up camp. It seems weird that Michael is, like, a teacher, but also in the RMP. Because, like, no one else seems to have that, like, double duty thing going on. Though you have additional members this time, the basics of your special ops missions remain unchanged. You will meet with the local leadership, report the beginning of your field exercises, and then see to the requests you are given. Understood. Heh. <laughs> so we're just gonna play pretend like we're bracers, huh? Just like I heard. Hey, what's wrong with bracers, huh? Nothing at all, but I can't deny that's what we're doing. Besides that, we also need to scout the area and dispose of dangerous monsters. I suspect it may be a bit more demanding than you expect. Ha, huh, that's what I like to hear. Sheesh, well, go break a leg. So, what is the local leadership this time? The former Duke Cayenne is still under arrest and no replacement has been named. That's right. It's for the reason that an interim supervisor was appointed by the government. You speak of Marquis Ballad, no? I believe he is the uncle of Duke Cayenne. Yes, he is currently the one in charge of the region, however he's currently busy with the Imperial Provincial Council. Therefore, you will report to the Juno Naval Fortress and meet with the Substitute. The Juno Naval Fortress? Oh, that place in the Noble Alliance used as their HQ during the Civil War? Indeed, our very own Principal Aurelia was also stationed there. Currently, it's home to the elites from each of the provincial armies who have joined together under the Unified Regions Army. So the substitution is our principal's right hand and leader of Sutherland's provincial army, Brigadier General Wallace Bardius, the general commander of the Unified Regions Army. Damn, extra orbital bike. So we're going to the Naval Fortress first, right? Yeah, and we're bringing that extra bike from Rhineford. We should head straight there. Don't want to keep the Brigadier General waiting. Understood. Now that we've got three bikes, I'm calling dibs on one of them. In that case, I'll just have to ride with Instructor Reen. Uh, I don't think you'll have to do anything. She never wastes a single chance. Ash, do you really know how to ride? Hell yeah, it doesn't take a genius to figure one of these babies out. I've ridden the ones in the hangar tons of times. When did you get the chance to... Oh, forget it. Yuna, Ash, and I will drive. The rest of you can ride in the sidecars. So make your preparations and we'll depart from the field exercise camp as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Ash's tank top. Musei's shirt, kimono, Musei sans hat. Almost time for field exercises to start. Might as well get a little crazy. Ash can now use Belial Raid. 
Rain got a message on his Arcus. I like your gift. The pendant you sent me is really cool. I think it'd look good in casuals, and I don't want to lose it on the job, so I'm going to wear it on my next day off. I'll keep it close to me forever. Thank you. Forever, huh? She must really like it. Um... Ash's tank top is what he was wearing earlier. Muse. Okay. Kimono. Oh! Without her hat. San's hat. Not like Muse San. Okay. Yikes. That's weird. I may have been studying Japanese a little too much recently. Uh, Musei, Ash, this will be your first big mission as part of Special Operations. I know you'll be heading into an area you both know well, but even so, be sure to do what Instructor Reen says. Gladly. Heh. <laughs> if he says the right stuff, sure. Is it that hard for him to be so agreeable? I'm not worried. It's just Ash being Ash. The Imperial Provincial Council is going to be discussing the Bilby's future from here on out. I can't help but be curious. A lot of things have happened over the past two years. In any case, this year's council is one to keep an eye on more than ever. Oh my god, hiccups. And keep an eye on it, we shall. I, I'll take a look. Yeah, we, I don't think we had any new books. I wonder if we'll be communicating with the Provincial Army on top of everyone else we've communicated with. Communicating with people from the outside makes me a bit nervous. You don't look at Luis. Jeez, Yuna, I get nervous too. At first, people really look down on us just because we're the branch campus. Mm, that's true. I see. I didn't realize you had so many difficulties. But now, the reputation of the branch campus has gotten better. Thanks for setting up comms infrastructure. Mm, not at all. Leave it to us. Let's check. Let's check. Wow, you got so, so many. many profiles! 59! Vitality Droplet. Mm, you're welcome. I'll be looking forward to more reports. I still get nervous communicating with outsiders, but I should be getting used to it. I'll need to work hard. I wonder if the main campus's field exercises have started yet. I hope nothing happens on their end. Valerie. North Ambria is pretty much the same situation as Crossbell. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Things are a bit complex for us over there. There's actually a surprisingly large number of people who welcomed the Imperial occupation. Either way, I shouldn't be worrying about others right now. I need to switch gears and focus on our field exercises. Might be for the best. I'll admit I'm curious about the main campus's field exercises, but I shouldn't be worrying about that right now. Need to switch, blah, 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 okay. Um, did I ever equip them? I did not. Uh, oh, the denim vest. Get it. Uh, what do we got? That's pretty good. Wow, that would make him like a fucking wild tank. Let me use that on Reen. Wow, that's crazy. He just, like, is a wild tank man now. 100 defense is nutso. Onslaught emblem. Strength plus 20. An emblem gifted the instructor for excellence wearing it. Yeah, I don't care about those. Auto CP up four per turn. I guess I could just make Ash, like, a wild strength boy. 724, is that the most? Oh. Nope. Instructor Reen still outpacing him, but he could be like a good Laura replacement. Um, what do you need? You need like magic stuff. That's a little. That's a small amount of health. Yeah. Do we have? She needs health. Well, either way, I can't do that right now. Um, 
I mean, I might just give her the silver chain, to be honest. Although this bracelet, I do want to prevent mute. I mean, I do love preventing death blow, obviously. We're gonna go with yellow emblem. That's delay. I might go with that. Yeah. Okay, well, they're better now, at least. I'm, I'm gonna kick out Altina for Muse once she gets to five with Rain. Looks like the main campus's field exercises are happening concurrently. Their first field exercise will be held in North Ambria. Anyway, the branch campus should just focus on their own exercises. New members of Class 7, good luck with your special ops missions. I'll do my best. Yeah, same here. Kaidi? Ah, losing you is a really huge blow for the medical team, you say. I trust you'll do just as well, Kyrie. I hope so. Well, I'll do my best. Wow, no one manning the kitchen. Oh, no one manning anything, jeez. The guild's also trying to find out what the Jaeger Corps all over Erebonia are up to. Right now, Agate's looking into the east side of the Empire. I see. There's ongoing competition for intelligence on Calvert over there, too. Kinda worried. Yeah, but worrying about it won't do us any good. Just like Elisa, Tio, and George, I'll contribute all my power as an engineer to help out. For our current field exercises, I'll run more tests for the boost carrier. It definitely won't be easy, but I'll have the Hector all tuned up and ready soon enough. I'm looking forward to it. You really fired up about this, huh? Well, of course, this must be the power of love. You say, what's love got to do with this? I'll help. Thanks. I'll help. Thanks. Yes. Fire elemental quartz, offensive arts increase CP. But oh, starts at level five, what the fuck? Recover CP through offensive arts. CP plus five enemy per killed. All stats up for four turns when HP is low. Reduced AT delay after fire arts. Eh. Eh. Thanks. Yes, thanks. Oops, that's not what I meant. I'll help. Okay, so that means we can quartz it up. You. I mean, we could just make him like a weird defense tank. He already has defense too, though. She probably could use it. And a blue. Deal bonus damage. Wait, max HP plus 50%. Doesn't even make sense. Can do whatever you want. Do you have attack two? <laughs> Just make it so he can fucking move up a storm. Sure, gradual EP recovery on the field. I will take.
I see, so this is the beginning of the new Class 7. Look after Reen, secondary contractors. Hey now, I'm supposed to be the one looking after them. You must leave him to me, Mr. Valimar. Hmm, you talk a lot for a doll. Must have a really long string in the back. Wow. Savage by Ash. I didn't realize our field exercise camp would be so close to the ocean. Not that it matters. Instructor Michael said he couldn't give us permission to enter the water. I mean, I guess I could always just fish, but will I even have the time? Ugh, I can't stand the thought of all the undersea delicacies I'm missing out on. This must be some new kind of torture. What do you got, Gustav? If I have time, I'd like to go look for materials, no. but... What to do? What to do? I don't think they'll let me stray so far out for that. Is something wrong, Gustav? Instructor Reen. Yeah, outside of orbital energy cannons, I use gunpowder weapons. After the Civil War, though, the price of gunpowder skyrocketed. We're having a hard time getting our hands on it. Gunpowder's pretty rarely used these days. It's been obsolete ever since the orbital revolution, right? Right, we learned as much in history class. When it comes to efficiency, orbital energy is much better, but due to its power and characteristics, gunpowder is used for blasting in mines. I see, so that's what you're familiar with, Gustav. Yeah, but like I said, I've got a slim chance of finding gunpowder right now, so I was hoping I could make some on my own. Gunpowder? All on your own? Eh, you're really something else. You can make it? That's quite impressive, Gustav. Its main components are nitric acid, sulfur, and coal. Out of the three, coal is readily available, but the others are rare. However, I do know there's some saltpeter and sulfur off the nearby highway. Oh yeah? You're from the Argon Mines beyond the canyon, right? You must be pretty familiar with the geology in this area. This is my life's work. That being said, I don't think I can gather the materials during field exercises. I thought about asking for permission to leave, but I doubt I'd have time to track down what I need. Hmm, I understand the situation now. If that's the case, we'll get it for you. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Oh no no, I don't want you to go through the trouble of, it's okay, I insist. That being said, we have our own duty, so I can't make any promises. I understand. If you can, that'd be great, but thank you either way. Sorry for the trouble. Ha! Thank us after we get the goods. Mm. We'll need to finish our request as efficiently as possible. You can find Saltpeter in the West Lamar Highway, and Sulphur should be somewhere in the Candied area. You'll spot Saltpeter where the walls are white, and the area with Sulphur should be yellow. Thanks again. Okay, yep, 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 yep. You got it. Piece of cake. Got it. I was gonna say, when can we make these? So I will need to make an HP2. And I don't really need the speed orbs, I guess. Again. Got it. Come again. Um, okay. And then chat with everybody else. The Panzer Soldats have all been divided up among us in combat tactics. I'm on the Spiegel, Lenore and Gustav are using the Hector, Wayne, Freddy, and I are on the Draken, and then Sydney's using the Kestrel. Though, I can see some of those shifting depending on the situation. With them all listed out like that, you can really see everyone's personalities and their choices, though they're all pretty much what you'd expect. Hmm. <clears throat> The Kestrel is focused on mobility, and the one I chose, the Draken, is more balanced. Its characteristics also come into play for sniping. I hear there are some snipers who choose the Hector, but I suppose it all comes down to feeling. The Spiegel has high performance, but the controls are a little more complicated. I'll need to make sure I get the hang of those during the field exercises this time around. Ah, the smell of the salt water in the breeze. That plus the tension in the air here at camp, there's nothing quite like it. 
It reminds me of the fleet. I feel like I'm home. Ha, <laughs> being by the ocean really suits you, Leo. Thanks. Did you hear that, Wayne? On the third night, we're going to be get free time in Ordis. Yahoo! Lemaire is the best! That is good news, but you really need to stop acting like that, Sydney. I know we've gotten used to them, but our field exercises are seriously dangerous, and with Ash gone, the rest of us will really need to step it up. Huh, you got a good point about Ash. He didn't look like it, but he really was the cornerstone of our team. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but... Whoa, Class 7, when did you get here? A cornerstone, you say? I'm glad to hear he's good for something, after all. I get the impression you know what they're talking about. Damn it, it wasn't like that. These two were just so useless, I had to show them how to do everything. I can definitely see him giving the others advice in his own way. Oh, Ash, you really need to learn how to take a compliment. Ash will be fine without you. I'm still here, after all. Make sure you don't cause Class 7 any trouble. Damn it, you're always so annoying. The field exercises go off without a hitch. We'll finally get some free time on the last day. Please, please let nothing bad happen this time around. Hmm, is this what they call a red flag? It just might be. Don't jinx us like that. I'm leaving Ash in your guys' hands. Make some good use of him. Don't let the bad boy deal fool you. He's actually got a pretty good head on his shoulders. He should prove pretty helpful, especially in combat. Pfft. It's not like I'm that helpful. It's just that everyone else is useless. Oh, well, what you gonna do? I'll look after these guys, so don't worry. W hey, you think you're? We're the ones who are looking after you. I'll try to pull them together. Three field exercises in. Seems like everyone's more fired up than usual, too. Guess I better step up myself. <laughs> Thanks. He will. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, shit. Oops. And then he will. Have a he will. <laughs> Thanks. And we still have so many more. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're a lot better now. Holy shit. 858. Green. Pretty sick. Three field exercises in. Seems like everyone's more fired up than usual, too. Guess I better step up myself. Yeah. Just tell me what you need. Take care. Our camp is in pretty good spot here location-wise, right in between Ortis and Raquel, and not too far from the Juno Naval Base either. We should be able to keep shipping costs pretty low here. By the way, I have some limited stock I got from Becky. Go ahead and take a look if you're interested. Oh, that sounds like it'll be a big help. Thanks, Stark. Now that breakfast is done, I'd better prepare for lunch. After that, I'll need to meet with the medical team and help them with the relief mission, and looks like the field exercises are going to be tough this time around, too. Yes, yeah, so let's do our best. Don't have any scenes. Uh, that looks like everybody... yes. Well, Mare is huge. We're really gonna need these bikes. Should we get going? Leave the camp. Ah, 
the breeze feels so good. It's so early in the morning, but look how bright it is. Oh, I love being near the water. Ha, I've only been to Ortis via train before. This terrain's perfect for a bike, though. The ride is nice, but we need to focus on the destination. Juno Naval Fortress, the HQ of the Unified Region's army. Go along the right road, and then go to the north at the three-way split. The fortress sits atop a cliff. I'm sure you'll be in awe at the sight. It won't be much longer. Okay. Well, we all know we don't use that shit. Um, but I need to take a break real quick to get a drink and uh, do some other stuff. So I will return in five to seven-ish minutes. <laughs> 